love peace light and blessings so family welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel welcome welcome my name is jazz if you're one of my a1 day one subscribers shout out to you spiritual gangsters you original souls this is going to be a collective love reading um from the divine masculine's perspective so we're going to tap in we're going to see what's good what's tea with the collective's overall energy in love so Please only take what resonates with your intuition and leave the rest behind. Y'all can tell it's been a little minute because I'm still, I'm getting through the intro slow as hell, okay? It's been a little minute, okay? Please take only what resonates and leave the rest behind, you guys. And let's go ahead and bless our reading one time for the one time. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, ascended masters. Mother God, Father God, I ask that you utilize me as a humble vessel. Fill me up with divine love, divine light divine lessons divine blessings divine guidance and divine intuition for myself and for the collective i ask that you fill us up until we overflow mentally spiritually physically and emotionally ashe ayi bo bo amun let's tap in y'all let's see what's good with t with the divine masculine's energy overall energy for the divine masculine towards his divine feminine please spirit what is the overall energy from the divine masculine to his divine feminine spirit. Okay. That was a lot. <laughs> and I'm going to take them. So the very first card that's on top. We have healing. Okay. It says imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed in this very now moment. I don't know why I definitely feel like there is this energy where two people have a healing essence towards each other. I feel like the divine masculine feels as though his feminine's energy is very healing to him. And I feel like the divine feminine feels like her masculine's energy is very healing to her womb. Because if y'all pay attention to the depiction, there's something about him hovering and covering and touching and healing her womb. So there is this emphasis on sexual healing. Um, when I get that feeling, I want a sexual healing. Okay. That's, I mean, look at it. You know, I feel like if there's any trauma to the womb, if there's any trauma to the sacral chakra, if there's any trauma to the reproductive system, organs, things of that nature, something about the connection between the divine masculine and the divine feminine is healing towards her sacral. And I feel like it has a lot to do with sex sex is a powerful energy so it also says here feel your relationship being healed in this very moment there is an ambiance of forgiveness is what i genuinely feel um that the masculine is is having for his feminine or the, or that the feminine is having for her masculine in order to heal situations i i just feel like there's a lot of forgiveness happening in the collective right now so the next card that we have out says surrender at times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. I definitely feel like here there is the energy of controllables and uncontrollables. When we tend to try to be superheroes, Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, whatever resonates with you, and we try to tackle the controllables and the uncontrollables, look at what happens. We get restless, we get weary, we get weak, you know what I'm saying? But there's this energy here that God loves the weak. You give God the opportunity or the ability to fill you back up. God loves the restless. God loves the weary here. So I feel like here, that healing process that the relationships amongst the collective is going through has a lot to do with us trying to be superheroes and take on the uncontrollables and the controllables, not realizing that we only supposed to focus on one which is what we can control. You will drive yourself batshit crazy if you continuously focusing on the uncontrollable. So the divine masculine is feeling a little weary, a little restless, ready to just surrender and allow God to allow themselves to let go and allow God to come in and assist or come in and help with these things that just seem like they really get the best of them or they really um, 
take their energy or they really make them feel restless and tired because it's heavy on them. There is some, there's an energy of something being heavy on the divine masculine right now. And there's also this energy of the divine masculine feeling like it, his feminine can be his medicine or be very healing to him or towards him. The next card we have out says manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? And the music can free you whenever it starts and it's magic. If the music is groovy, it makes you feel happy like a... I don't know why that song came through, but it's like collective. Do you believe in magic? Because spirit wants to know. Do you believe that miracles can manifest itself? Because spirit really wants to know. I feel like the way that a certain relationship is looking right now or to the naked eye or in this very now moment, I feel like you could never expect the final outcome to even be possible right now. But it's because you don't believe in magic. So collective, despite the healing that's prevalent, despite the necessary surrendering energy that's coming over us do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart i'm just saying well young man's heart like do you do you believe that god is a god of miracles <laughs> do you do you really because i feel like miracles only happen to those who believe dreams are real and all you have to do it's just believe. So it's it's there, there's this energy of, of of two people dreaming about each other, dreaming about the future, dreaming about like timelines and possibilities and shit like that. But then they look at the current circumstance or they look at the current dynamic and they don't believe in miracles. They don't believe in magic. They don't believe in what they're seeing or what they're feeling towards somebody right now. The divine masculine sees so much um magically or metaphysically the divine masculine witnesses so much in the astral realm or the spiritual realm or the dream realm but i think in correlation to the physical realm it's so hard for them to believe that these are possibilities that they're seeing i borderline feel like because of their lack of believing in miracles believing in magic they believe that what they see is like an illusion and now with surrender being in the middle of both of these energies, I just feel like now they're just beginning to let go and let creation. Hmm. Divine Masculine, what else do you have to say to your Divine Feminine here? What else do you have to say to the Divine Feminine? Mm. It says, keep shit clean. Gross bathrooms and dirty floors suck whenever this card comes out y'all i genuinely feel like somebody's depressed okay it says keep shit clean gross bathrooms and dirty floors suck sometimes the depression looks different on everybody right but i feel like the divine masculine wears such a good mask the divine masculine does such a great job at going about his day-to-day -day at continuously allowing things in to distract them from the fact that there is some necessary healing that needs to happen in their lives only if they allow themselves to surrender to the fact that there is some type of pain that they've been harboring now I personally feel like to those strong ones, to those people who know how to mask their depression symptoms, go look at their house. What their bathroom look like? What their kitchen look like, honey? What the floors look like? What their bedroom look like? How long has the laundry been been sitting there? Because that is a dead giveaway as to how somebody is feeling internally about themselves. Because where you lay your head, where you dwell, that is your sanctuary. And that's why in African traditional uh, spiritual traditions, we put altars in our home because the home where you lay your head, baby, that's your sanctuary. So even if you go commune in a specific uh, tabernacle or temple or mosque, whatever the case may be, we personally understand the power of bringing that energy back home too. So it's always amongst you and always around you. I feel like right now they have no peace of mind and therefore they have no peace 
at home. The Divine Masculine right now also has no time to even clean up the house, honey. So if they don't have no time for you, they don't even have time to do nothing but sleep, eat, shit, and breathe or, or work or whatever the case may be. I just feel like they have been neglecting other aspects of their lives and it has a lot to do with how they feel internally. The Divine Masculine is battling something internally right now trying to manifest a, a, a miracle in their lives because they genuinely feel this energy of the healing process beating their ass up needing to surrender to this defense mechanism that's been put up that makes them fail to acknowledge the fact that they genuinely have to go deep within themselves the same way the feminine taught herself how to go deep within herself when we talking about healing when we talking about shadow working there is this energy of i feel like the masculine needing your assistance here as well let's get another one divine masculine what else would you like to say to your divine feminine so it says you think you got them all figured out. You don't. So yeah, there's definitely more to this story. I feel like there is a lot that has not been brought to the surface. And there's also a lot that has been unsaid. Um, And I feel like you really think here, Divine Feminine, that you know your masculine like the back of your hand. But there is these intricate pieces and these intricate parts about the Divine Masculine that... It's only in due time that they will feel comfortable revealing, expressing, or showing to you. And I genuinely feel like here, if you love this person, like you say you love this person, then be patient with their process of opening up to you. Sometimes it's human nature to expect people to be like us, to move like us, to act like us. Not realizing that we're taking away one of the most beautiful things about human beings, which is uniqueness. Not everybody is, is going to, we, that's, that's how we're able to learn from each other because of differences so you really think you got your divine masculine all figured out you really think that when when he does not do certain things like you would that the outcome that you've made up it is it is what it is and sometimes it's not what it's not is what spirit is saying sometimes you really don't know why this person operates moves reacts the way that they do sometimes, you really don't know. But it just comes with time. It comes with patience. You really, really taking the initiative to get to know somebody on a totally deeper level, on an inside level, like on a something that takes time. Let's get another one, Divine Masculine. What else would you like to say to your Divine Feminine here? I feel like there's a whole nother side to the divine masculine that's soon to be revealed to the divine feminine or slowly but surely getting revealed to the divine feminine. It says go on a real fucking date, smell good and get your sexy on. All right, so the divine masculine really wants to see you. I just heard dress it up and make it real for him. So I, I definitely feel like here when I see go on a real fucking date, dress it up and make it real for him. Sometimes, like, especially with the pandemic, it's hard for a woman to get that pampering energy. You know, when you got that event or you got that date and it's like, shit, I need to start getting ready at 6 because I got to be off the house by 8.39. You know, like, that's that energy that I feel like the Divine Masculine is, is trying to give or provide to his divine feminine where you dress it up and make it real for him they like to see you in your heels they like to see you put together your fits they like to see you put a little beat on your face here they like to see you dress it up and make it real for them there is a big turn on energy um around watching you get pretty or watching you get dolled up or watching you get into your empress energy I always say the high priestess is more of a shea butter chick she's more of a naturalist but best believe the high priestess can always step into that empress energy. She really can. The high priestess, if she really want to dress it up and make it real for them, we know how to, how to turn it on and off. And I feel like it says smell good and get your sexy on. I feel like that's such a turn on to them to watch you transition or transform from being this natural person in your natural state, still looking naturally beautiful, and then going into this <laughs> dolled up phase, you know, queen status, like where it's just like, God damn, that's me? That's me right there? 
You know, that's what the divine masculine feels like when, when they see you dress up, like, or when they see you step out and you're really looking like beautiful here, divine feminine. They just feel like that's me right there. That's mine. I'm fucking that. That's that's my that's my girl. I ain't mean to say bitch, but term of endearment. That's that's all me right there. That's me right there. That's a that's a beautiful energy that I see here where it's like divine feminine. You genuinely like a trophy. You should already know. Don't you know you need a rider? I don't know why I heard. I just want to be your favorite. And I feel like there is this energy. Like, if there is anybody else in the Divine Masculine's life, you just the favorite. I just want to be your favorite. We're going to use the sexual magic tarot to clarify some of this stuff. So, I do feel like some of the Divine Masculines are overcoming or undergoing a depression. Because they're healing from something. Something that they've been trying to chuck their chin up. And military style boot camp this shit when nah, they really need to humble their hearts and emote their feelings through emotions and things like that. So that healing to that surrender energy, that was a lesson. Now the manifesting miracles is coming through because they've learned something beautiful from these lessons. Clarify manifesting miracles, please, Spirit. What are these miracles being manifested? Oh, we got two. We got the moon and the wheel of fortune. God damn, that's a powerful energy. We got the moon and the wheel of fortune. I feel like there is this encounter happening on a powerful moon cycle. It's a faded encounter. There's something powerful happening, maybe with this next full moon in Libra. But the card says your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. This transit in the sky or this, I'm sorry, this yeah transition in the moon cycles. It's a heavy influence on two people opening up to each other. Two people revealing and illuminating some type of... It's a shift in the cycle here. So somebody's dreams could be coming true. The divine masculine who used to be a non-believer in these types of miracles, these types of dreams and visions that he was having about the divine feminine could now be shifting into a cycle here with the wheel where they believe in. Do you believe in magic? They believe in a little something, something with this moon. They believe in them secrets. They believe in that, 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 that harvesting energy. They believe in the shadows. Hmm. Divine Feminine, I feel like you could have assisted your masculine with becoming a believer in such. There is an energy about you being the assistance with them wholeheartedly believing in something here. That's a powerful combination. Let's go ahead and put one on the moon and the wheel before we continue. Clarify this moon to the wheel of fortune, please, spirit. I just feel like two people are destined to come together. Whether it has to be by the form of a miracle or not, it's going to happen. Let's make it happen. And we got the star. Two people are destined to. Let's make it happen. And pay attention to these two energies here where remember he was healing her but now in this particular star she's healing him there's a beautiful mutual healing energy surrounding both divine masculine and divine feminine now where she's a focus where her focus is going is on his heart chakra and where his focus is going is on her sacral chakra so there is a sexual healing energy that the feminine receives from the masculine and there is an emotional healing energy that the masculine receives from the feminine and that's beautiful now the moon to the star to the wheel let's make it happen it says manifesting miracles this is also manifesting dreams and wishes 
I definitely feel like here the moon to the star is written in the stars. It's written in y'all natal charts and it's written in y'all spiritual contracts for y'all to be fated. Or to have fated encounters, to have divine intervention over both of y'all human experiences. The star to the moon to the uh to the wheel of fortune. Let's make it happen. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why they just keep it's just like What are you waiting for, Divine Masculine? You've been fighting something for so long that you know for a fact it's gonna happen no matter what what are you waiting for divine masculine are you waiting for another sign what other sign besides the moon and the stars the whole sky lights up with omens and 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 synchronicities when you ask for them and i think that's why let's make it happen keeps coming through because when you got the wheel of fortune some things are destined but some things are faded and you can't control what's faded for you you really can't you can manipulate with destiny that's all destiny is. It's a form of manipulation towards the fated, towards the fate. You can manipulate it, but you can't change it. When it's written in the stars, and when it feel that good, when I get that feeling, I want a sexual healing. Mm, clarify the surrender energy, please, sir. I got to move on from that. That's a powerful combination, Divine Masculine. We got strength. Well, goddamn, we got all major arcanas coming out so far. So far, we just started with zero. So we got the moon. That could be Piscean, Cancerian. What's up, water signs? Introduce y'all shit. We got the wheel. We got the star. What's up, Aquarius? Introduce your shit. And now we got Leo energy. What's up? Leo, introduce your shit with strength coming out here. So I feel like somebody has definitely been re been resisting surrendering to the process, surrendering to the journey, and surrendering to healing. Somebody has been in denial here as well. When I see strength and the way that she's taming that beast, you know what I'm saying? It's like somebody's been in denial of their shadow all along. The divine masculine has had a very, very hard time opening themselves up to shadow aspects, shadow work, acknowledging where they need some some light shine into their lives right now yeah because we got the emperor he can be stubborn as fuck he really can because he's just stuck in his ways i know we talk a lot of shit about the emperor sometimes but let's be real the emperor runs empires he's powerful by nature and nobody's perfect but the emperor is stuck in their ways sometimes can be stuck in his ways sometimes and i feel like that's been an energy surrounding the divine masculine clarifying healing we have the queen of wands so when i get that feeling i want a sexual healing mm. told y'all it's more than sex to them it's genuinely healing so if you are intimate with your divine masculine it is really more than sex to them it doesn't matter how sexy you are and it doesn't matter how many um how how attracted your masculine is to you here is really more than sex or is really more than lust is what i feel there's something about the sexual encounter that are genuinely healing so it's telling me that the sex is spiritual and that there could possibly also be some type of sex magic um in the background consciously or subconsciously with that queen of wands because there's a natural mystic blowing in the air. Yeah, some of y'all are just naturally mystics. Can't help it. It's just, it's in your blood. Clarify, keep shit clean. What is it? What did this card say, y'all? Keep shit clean. Gross bathrooms and dirty floors suck. What's up with this energy divine masculine? What are you going through? Why? Is, I hope you just don't have time. What's up with this energy here, divine masculine? Some of them might be depressed. Some of them just don't have time. Some of them just need a woman in their lives, Spirit says. It's certain things that you do for your masculine that they can't do for themselves or they just can't do it like you do it. And I feel like one of them things is when you come through and you get the bleach and you get the bucket and you get the cleaning that motherfucker. Y'all know when Bay House be getting out of hand. Let's keep it 100. It, when Bay House start getting out of hand and it's like, uh-uh. 
I gotta get up in this bathroom. I gotta get up in this kitchen. I just feel that energy where you do something better around the house than they do and they miss and appreciate every time that you put forth that that energy towards helping them with their upkeep somehow, some way in their lives. Clarifying this gross bathrooms and dirty floors suck energy. We got the six of swords and the ten of wands. So I genuinely feel like here when we look at this ten of wands energy. This looks like makeup sex. Like, in, it looks like in this card, they put the burdens down by surrendering to each other or giving in to each other or just saying, fuck it, let's just make up, right? I feel like there's this energy of two people putting their, putting their guards down. And finally, just, it literally says here, keep shit clean. I feel like they're just keeping shit 100 keeping 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 it a buck you know what i'm saying when i see the ten of wands these are two people just finally putting their guards down towards each other feeling comfortable you know healing the situation with the six of swords and moving uh moving themselves towards better energies better vibrations higher vibrations moving themselves towards you know getting on one accord versus feeling like the relationship was so heavy at one point in time i feel like there was an energy where the relationship became a little stressful towards both parties but it had a lot to do with like this misunderstanding so the ten of wands to the six of swords is beautiful because what will what was once a burden is now going to be released what was once problematic is now going to be healed or moved away to something more calmer clarifying you think you got them all figured out we got the knight of wands some of y'all think that the that the divine masculine is just a player and some of y'all think the divine masculine just wants sex some of y'all think the divine masculine is only attracted to your beauty and your booty with that queen of wands energy and knight of wands energy out here but that's not even the facts like that's not even the case here I gotta read the cards. It says you really don't know. It's more than that. It's more than 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 what you think it is. And you really think that sometimes divine feminine that all they're really interested in, attracted to, or 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 drawn towards is your assets, <laughs> which you which you physically, externally, um, you know what I'm saying how that chemistry feel but i feel like the chemistry that the divine masculine feels towards your divine feminine is deeper than flesh you know it has a lot to do with energy it's a big energy behind it. it has a lot to do with healing it has a lot to do with so many different things i also feel like here you could be making them assumptions because maybe y'all haven't been on a real fucking date in a very long time or maybe that that divine masculine energy hasn't put forth the effort to allow you to get sexy and smell good for them and dress it up and make it real for them but maybe they they know how to make time to uh bust it wide open I don't know y'all story i really don't but i'm just saying these could be scenarios that make the divine feminine feel like maybe sometimes it's all about sex now for some of the masculines it might be who knows but in this particular um wave of divine masculines it's more than the knight of wands you think that it's only about just a lustful energy you think that this person has options and could be a player but you don't have them all the way figured out just yet. It could be more than what meets the eye. Let's clarify that Knight of Wands real quick. Why is the Knight of Wands out here, Spirit? What he out here doing? Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups. Because it's not just sex. It's genuinely emotions there. It's genuinely love there. Or they don't want it to only be about sex. They want it to be a beautiful integration of both. Where well, y'all can definitely throw it back and y'all could, uh, you know have a beautiful healthy sex life but they also want it to be where there is a emotional bond there is this spiritual connection they want you to know this because i feel like they don't question it but there's an energy where your masculine knows for a fact that you don't know where you stand in his life here divine feminine you have no idea how much emotions and respect that he has towards you here and you genuinely make assumptions based upon indifferences based upon your masculine potentially not reacting the way that you do or approaching things the way that you would or you know we got to find beauty in our differences because that's how we learn from each other is what spirit says here so it says go on a real fucking date smell good and get your sexy on what's this date that the masculine is planning or wanting to take you on what's the purpose we got the fool they scared 
they scared if you haven't been on a real date it's because they don't know if what they're bringing to the table is going to pique your interest or they're afraid to take a risk to even put an offer out there and ask you they're afraid to just be um to take a chance you know what i'm saying to just say hey do you want to meet me here hey do you want to step out here hey um are you free then or hey do you got time such and such day they're afraid to plan something but i feel like there is an overwhelming energy of them just wanting to just say fuck it that's what the fool does the fool just after a while you know what i'm saying fuck it that's that fool that's the fool that's what he does he says fuck it so the divine masculine been overthinking something with the nine of swords that's fear <laughs> that's fear at its finest nine of swords at the bottom of the deck put one more in this fool energy please spirit why is the fool here with the seven of wands they've been blocking you from being able or fighting you from being able to see that they want things to be a little bit deeper they want to take risk and leaps of faith with you they want to move things forward and potentially you know spend more time with you here when i see uh go on a real date smell good get your sexy on they've been fighting this urge to just you know come towards you and really really tell you certain things that will make sense to you here divine feminine a lot of the connection doesn't make sense to you but it feels good it feels different than what it looks like and that that sometimes my friends is how you know you in a divine spiritual twin flame soulmate past life relationship connection i just heard <laughs> that's not a good song i just heard though um who was that lauren hill when it hurts so bad when it hurts so bad why do you... i don't know the lyrics y'all when it hurts so bad something hurts so bad sometimes spirit says but the good always the bad hmm. the divine mass women's definitely fighting the urges to come towards you to say fuck it with the fool let's go ahead and get the closing message from divine masculine to divine feminine we're gonna use the whispers of love oracle y'all closing message please spirit from divine masculine to divine feminine what would you like to say to the divine feminine here divine masculine closing message i love this time of day when i say the kids i like getting off the bus by the children i'm getting off the bus and i get to watch everybody not only get off the bus go home do, probably do their homework then change out their uniform and they just come out here and they start playing or walking their dogs in a dog park i don't know like it's just i don't know little things like that just give me bliss y'all i'm a weirdo i love to see it like i don't know I, then again, I was one of them kids that was working since I was like 13 years old. So sometimes when I see like childhood um, ambiances, it brings me like a joy that I cannot explain, y'all. So it says practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. Mm, there's a big energy of holding safe spaces. Holding a safe space for your family. Holding a safe space for your friends. Holding a safe space for your divine masculine. I cannot claim to see the divinity within me if I don't see the divinity within all of humanity. We are all created equally. So in order for me to see the God in me, in order for me to see the divinity within me, I have to also see the barriers and the blockages between my peers in their enlightenment here as well when we talk about practicing compassion it starts within yourself you have to be patient and compassionate with the barriers and the blockages that stand between you and your higher self to even be able to fathom the idea of being compassionate and holding a safe space for the people in your external world and their barriers and their blockages towards their enlightenment and their higher selves so when you see people lack compassion for their peers understanding understanding or overstanding that's because they lack compassion with their own spiritual journey and process that's why i will never call you guys call myself y'all spiritual teacher what does jay say i'm your spiritual advisor because i'm still fucking up as i'm journeying through this and the same people that i go to to ask for y'all advice is the same ones that i consult when I need advice and I personally feel like 
a spiritual teacher has to be able to teach somebody without making them feel stupid. And guess what, y'all? I'm not there yet. And I'll never claim to be a spiritual teacher because that's a title that comes with a certain weight that I may get to after initiation age 33. I may get to after a certain age in life, but I ain't, I ain't there yet. And if y'all learn from me, like I say, that's great. But to, to, to be certain energies in this world, you got to have a certain level of compassion. Not only for your people, but it starts with yourself. The type of compassion that spirit has with us when we fuck up is unconditional. The type of compassion that a mother has to a child when it fucks up is unconditional. Sometimes... We be loving with these conditions and that's not, there's no compassion. There's no safe space in those dynamics and relationships. Sometimes we don't realize what it is to genuinely love unconditionally. Then these cycles keep coming into our lives trying to teach us and trying to show us that if we don't have compassion, if we don't hold these safe spaces, it is a big reflection of how we treat ourselves. It says everyone benefits when we try to look at things from someone else's viewpoint. Walking in someone else's shoes can bring us to a tender understanding that may change how we are feeling now. Love and compassion always bring positive outcomes. There are so many worthy ways to practice compassion. Volunteer your time at a nursing home or homeless shelter. Donations of clothing or food are always appreciated by those in need. If you feel so inclined or are looking for inspiration, read up about individuals who dedicated their lives to compassionate works. There are many biographies of great philanthropists such as Mother Teresa, Muhammad Gandhi, and Tenzin Gyatso, and the 14th Dalai Lama of Tibet. A nature boy gazes at a small blue bird. He wears a headdress with feathers and branches. The feathers in his hair suggest someone is reaching out to you. Pay attention and give support and love where needed. So there is a big energy from that card of two people not being able to speak each other's love languages. But never say never is what spirit is saying. Give that time and give that patience and have compassion towards you understanding somebody and somebody trying to understand you here too collective i send you love peace light and blessings soul family if you would like to book a personal reading with me all my information is down low in the description box below um the spiritual store is not stocked until after the full moon in libra so i can charge y'all beautiful candles before i go ahead and put them back on the website i send y'all love peace light and blessings please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment until next time so family Mwah.